Well, hello, kind folks of the internet. Today we're back in the kitchen and we're ready to cook. Let's take a look and see what we have in the chest. What do we have here? Oh, I see. Ribeye. How do those look? Sound good? All right, let's get cooking. Okay, so before we get too far ahead of ourselves, first thing we need to do is get these things dethawed. And I'm simply just gonna fill my sink up with hot water and leave them sit for 10, 15 minutes and that should do it. I'm gonna drop them in. We're just gonna submerge them. We're gonna let the water fill up and that's it. And also, we're going to be doing a all-natural grass-fed pork loin for you healthy, all-natural people out there. Alright, so real quick, we are going to get a marinade going for this pork loin, which is going to be a simple teriyaki season. We're going to do that now. So all we're going to do is just put everything in a bag, uh, dump the seasoning in there, and then mix it all up. Pretty simple process. Just enough to add flavor. And that's what we have. Good looking pork loin. Okay, so we're just finishing up a little bit of prep work, which was we have the ribeyes uh, thawing out in the sink, and we just did the marinade in the bag for the pork loin, and we're gonna do some uh, mushrooms and onions in there with the loin and the steak. So that's that. We'll take it over here to the range, and here what I have, my setup is all cast iron once again and I have the double sided grill griddles and obviously we're gonna go grill side up for the loin grill side up for the ribeyes and today what I'm gonna experiment with is something different that i have really not familiar with so that's why I call it an experiment which is the searing press uh, I'm not even quite sure how to use this thing or really even what the purpose of it is. Uh, from what I read, it's just we're gonna preheat it just like everything else you would normally. We're gonna preheat. And the idea of the press is uh, when you get your ribeyes on the grill here, you just have your press hot and you're gonna put that on top and hopefully you're gonna be able to cook the steak evenly without doing a constant flip. So we're going to try that for one, see how it works, and see if there's any difference. So we got everything warmed up, ready to go. We're going to give it a couple of minutes, and we'll be ready to come back. Okay, pans are nice and warm. We're ready for meat. And if we've done this properly, we should get some nice sizzle action when we put these on there. Ooh, that's what I would like to hear. That's the sound of goodness there. Also, pan seems like good over here. I don't want to forget about my press. I think this thing's warm or heated up. Let's try it out. See how that does. We'll keep an eye on that. See if that makes a difference. And for right now, all I'm going to do is put some Worcestershire sauce on it. And then I'm going to get my rub 
Oh, that's already cooking the top of that pretty good. You can see that. That's really good. So maybe we'll rotate it. See how that does. Okay, so while we got the steaks and the pork loin going, I'm going to go ahead and preheat me a pan and we're going to get some green beans going in there. I'm going to let that preheat for a couple of minutes and actually get some oil in there. That's just canola oil. Alright, we're going to add some mushrooms over here and we're going to add some onions over here with the steak. I'm basically just going to rip off punks, scatter them through. Okay, I think it's going to be time to flip the steak. Got a nice grill mark. This is Devin's spot. Doesn't get as warm on the pan, so he likes his... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and flip the loin. I'm going to turn these down, these are cooking really good. Okay, we're going to go ahead and dump our green beans in. I think we got our pan heat warm enough over here. Yep, nice and sizzling. Okay, we got everything situated here. Uh, we're going to give everything a few minutes, maybe do another flip. So we'll check back in in a couple of minutes. Steak looking good. You see that? That's some done pork loin. Looking mighty good. We're gonna go ahead and get it off the pan right now. Okay, so we're ready for our dry seasoning, which uh, I'm just going to use some Montreal steak seasoning, also with some steak rub. And I have coffee rub here that I'm going to use towards the end of the process when we're a little bit further along. So for right now, I'm going to go ahead and get the Montreal seasoning on there. And I'm not going to get too heavy, I like this mild seasoning. Okay, and we're also going to go with some rub. I'm just going to sprinkle some on there. Like I said, I'm not going to get too heavy. I move my press, which, by the way, the press is doing excellent. I don't know if that's showing up, but this press I really like. It's cooking the top end evenly, and it's you know not requiring me to flip it as much, which is great. Okay, so we're going to get some coffee rub in there, and I don't really rub it in that much. I just kind of sprinkle it on. And for right now, we're going to let that go. When we're ready to flip, we'll come back and flip it over. Actually, we'll check our green beans. Green beans look like they're sizzling pretty good. We can keep them all in the pan. If you've been hanging with us for the last couple of videos, this is this cast iron, that six inch skillet that we seasoned a few videos back. And this is the second time we've been able to cook with it. So far, this thing's holding up like a champ. It belongs in the family. All right, folks, we need to flip some steaks. That's situated properly. Devin's juicy steaks cooking good. We're coming along pretty good. We're going to go a few more minutes. 
All right, so let's do a progress report. Everything's coming along good. Green beans are pretty much done. Looks like everything's going good there. Pork loin's been done here. Uh, we've had that sitting out. And we're going to check on the steak here. We're going to do a quick cut test on that and see where we're looking at. Let's remove the onions out of the way. Now for me, I like a medium, which is pretty much about exactly what that is. So I'm going to call that done. Update on the six inch pan, folks, that we've been seasoning. Coming along pretty well. Getting a nice black build up. Okay, so here we have a finished meal. We have the ribeye topped with onions, and we have the fried green beans, and I've also added grapes and applesauce. And I'm going to go ahead and top the steak off with some A1 sauce and wash everything down with Deer Park water. And I'm getting ready to dig in, but someone's already been over here and enjoy himself, so let's hear what he's got to say about the meal. The meal's good and the steak is better, and I hope you guys enjoy this cooking video. So move by, and in the future videos, you're gonna make some more cooking videos. Make sure to leave a comment down below, and a thumbs up, and subscribe for more cooking videos. Thanks for joining us. When you took a cast iron, you gotta keep up on your maintenance. Well worth it though.